answering your genuine question, can you lose more than you invest in stocks? When you invest in stocks, it is always possible to lose more than you invest. That's because the stock market is unpredictable. You can buy stocks, but you never know when you'll sell them. It's always possible to lose more than you invest. There are a lot of reasons to invest in stocks. But immediate needs and a preference for cash flow are not among them. Anyway, there are a few questions related to this topic. The first and one of the most important questions is. Can you lose all your money in stocks? The answer to that question is, yes. There are many ways to lose money in the stock market. You can lose money by buying stocks that are too expensive, or by selling stocks that are too cheap. You can also lose money by selling stocks when they're trending upward, or by buying stocks when they're trending downward. But what if you don't know what you're doing? What if you don't have any experience investing in stocks? That's where the short sale comes in. Do I owe money if a stock goes down? If your portfolio drops below what you thought it would be worth, you may have to pay taxes on the difference between what you thought your investments were worth and what they are now. When you sell a stock, you can owe money if the stock price drops. When you buy a stock, you can owe money if the stock price rises. The IRS doesn't count the difference between what you think your investments are worth and what they are now as taxable income. However, the IRS does consider the difference between what you thought your investments were worth and what they are now when determining whether or not you owe money on your taxes. To avoid owing money on your taxes, you should keep an eye on your portfolio. You should review your portfolio at least once per quarter to make sure that you haven't lost more than you invested in stocks. Short Selling Basics In theory, you can lose an unlimited amount of money in a short sale. Short selling is a form of trading that allows investors to sell a stock short without having to own that stock. The stock is sold for less than it's worth and then the investor buys it back later at a higher price. The difference between the price paid and the price of the stock when it was sold is called the short position. This is a great way to make money when the stock market is rising but it's a bad way to make money when the stock market is falling. Short selling can be a great way to make money, but it also has risks. If the stock price drops, you can lose more than you invested in the stock. You can't control what happens to the stock market or your portfolio, so short selling is not a good strategy if you're looking for consistent growth in your portfolio. Short selling is best for those who are looking for short-term gains or those who want to take a risk. If you're looking for long-term gains, don't short sell. Example of a short sale loss. Here's an example of a short sale loss. I'm using the example of a short sale loss because I think it's the most common example people use when talking about short selling. The short seller borrowed $100,000 from his broker and sold the stock at $10 per share. The short seller bought the stock back at $15 per share. He made a profit of $5 per share. If he had bought the stock at $20 per share, he would have lost $10 per share. Consequences of a short sale loss If you lose more than you invested in the stock, you can face a lot of consequences. Here are some of the consequences of a short sale loss. You could be banned from the stock market. Your brokerage firm could charge you a fee for the losses. You could have to pay back the money you borrowed. You could be charged with insider trading. Your brokerage firm could refuse to buy your stock back. So there are a number of things that may lead you to losing your money in stocks. But the silver lining, or at least what you can learn from this video, is not to stop yourself from taking a leap of faith. But to know how much of risk you are willing to take. And to do your calculations before jumping right to it. So hopefully this answers your question. Can you lose more than you invest in stocks? See you in the next video.